Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Jaeger the Viking here, bringing you some UFC Undisputed 3. Gonna be starting a new fighter for my first video here on Press Start Sports. I'm gonna be, um, you know, I've got this jujitsu fighter, and I'm gonna be here bringing you guys UFC. This is an exclusive fighter just for Press Start that I made. So I'm gonna be bringing you guys some UFC content. I don't know if we have any other UFC guys on here that have been, you know, figured out yet. I don't know if they plan on getting more, if they have more that haven't uploaded yet. But regardless, you know, I don't know how often exactly I'm going to be bringing you guys content, but, um, you know, it'll be UFC with this guy right here. Here I've got my first fight. On my personal channel, I've got a Muay Thai fighter who I'm halfway through the career mode with. I, you know, post with him uh, once in a while. Or not once, no, I post with him quite often. And then I also post Call of Duty on my channel, so if you guys are into those kind of things, I would certainly suggest coming to check me out. And I would talk more about my channel, but I am live commentating this, which I always do for UFC. So I really, you know, can't tell you guys too much about myself. Got myself all tatted up, tattoos all over the place, green hair. Decided I would look kind of cool, I don't know. My other guy doesn't really have too much special about him, I think. I have a Norwegian flag tattoo, and that's it. And a mohawk, but it's just like a brown mohawk. It doesn't look that exciting or anything. So there really is nothing too exciting about my other guy. This guy decided I would completely mix it up with make a completely different type of guy. Make him look kind of unique. He's got that... I don't even know what kind of hairstyle I'm rocking. It's kind of like a Skrillex type thing. I don't know. But, oh shit. I should have... I should be able to do more on the ground here. I figured I would be able... To win on the ground, this guy, this was the toughest matchup I could have picked, decided I would start out difficult, you know, try to open up my career with a, uh, a tough victory. I play on expert difficulty, so, you know, all the, all the fights are pretty tough, but some are easier than others, of course, and this one is, for whatever reason, a lot tougher than I thought it would be. Maybe I want to actually try to keep this one standing for a while and see how it works out before, I, nah, I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna go right back to the ground. I don't have the, I don't feel like keeping it standing. I made this jujitsu guy because I want to be on the ground, and I'm gonna use him on the ground. And am I gonna get the first round knockout? No, I would have had the TKO, not an actual knockout, if I could have connected with any sort of shots. But I didn't connect with enough to do anything, and um, made it through the first round alive. Hopefully, the second round I'm able to actually get something going. Oh, jeez, my thumbs start to hurt from all that ground transitioning. I, like, try all sorts of ground transitions, and that really made my thumb hurt. Or not hurt, but get kind of tired. Which is kind of sad if you think about it. Like, two, two and a half minutes of playing a game, and my thumb is getting tired. But, like, sometimes when I'm transitioning, I just button mash. I don't even do anything. Right now, I'm still in the WFA, of course, because I just started. I can't wait till I get into the actual UFC, get some legit commentary going. I love having the commentary. I don't even listen to the commentary that much, and I mean, it can't be heard in my videos because the game volume is low, but it's nice to just have it. Sometimes they, like, let me know things that are happening in the game that I didn't even notice, you know? If someone gets cut, the commentators point it out, and I don't always hear it because I'm talking, you know, over them, but from time to time, I hear what the commentators are saying, and they help me out, so I can't wait for that once I actually reach the UFC level. I'm still debating how I'm going to do this. I'm either going to commentate only like the milestone fights in my career and be uploading those or I'm just gonna upload every single fight in my career with my Muay Thai fighter I've been uploading ah shit get off me with my Muay Thai fighter I've been uploading every single fight and you know that's that's fun I like doing that but at the same time it's like 48 fights you know if it's posting on another channel is that too many fights kind of should I only commentate the milestone ones. I don't really know. Maybe you guys want to give me some feedback in the comments section. Let me know how often I should be posting. And anyway, I've pretty much summed up me. I need to get into this fight more. Right now, I'm just trying to throw some strikes. Maybe I need to get him to drop his guard a bit. Got some solid kicks going here. Maybe if I hit him low, I can, like, submit him. I've never gotten a submission on my Muay Thai fighter, and I never really play this game not uh, on my fighters, so really I haven't gotten too many submissions. I kind of want to do that right now. You guys are going to witness my first ever YouTube submission if I can do it. Maybe if I can mount him, I'm just going to beat beat him down. Let's see if I can do that. Nice, I got him mounted. Screw submissions. Let's just start raining punches. I'm going to win. There we go. Get the knockout. 
with, um, you know, halfway through the second round, just about start off my career well with a tough matchup, getting the KO without a problem. Look at me, nothing too exciting, <laughs> not too many people cheering because it's just the WFA. But anyway, that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you want to come over and subscribe to my personal channel. Alright, that's it for this one. See ya.